Yo guys, what is up? This is Scandalous from Inudox coming back at you with Discord.py episode 19. And today we're just going to be making a simple invite manager. So this episode, uh, we are using a third party library called Discord Utils. Utils. You can download it from here. You can install Discord Utils. And then they've also got some uh, embed paginators and things, but uh, I won't be using those, I haven't dived into those. You guys can use them if you want, but what I'm going to be using is this invite tracker. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy and paste this code. And you guys can feel free to do this with your code as well. It's really just that simple. You can just copy and paste this. Now this isn't going to like it, because we need to transform all of our at bot.events uh, into at commands.cog.listeners. We can just right click, we can't click, uh, we can't refract at this. Unfortunately, I thought we might have been able to do that. But that's alright, because we can just copy and paste all of these to listeners. Like so. And that should be good to go. What else do we need? We need a tracker. And because we are in a class, I'm going to go self.tracker. That's that, we've got it imported as well, just to make sure. And then all of this just needs to be self dot, because it's self dot tracker. Now you'll notice it's still uh, not liking it, and that's because we have not passed self through to the function. So we just need to pass self through. We'll copy this as well. And now we can just print this for now. Let's just check that it works. Let's run our bot and jump in here, jump into recording. Oh, it looks like I've got a message to respond to. If I just pull up my other Discord account while we're waiting for the bot. Let's go like this. Let's invite him. And hopefully he joins. And do 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 do. Yeah, join. Now, it's joined, you notice it's joined. However, it hasn't said anything yet, so we'll put, we'll put something in later on. But you notice it's, uh, it said this is me, and that's good, so it's working. Now, how do we keep track of that? Because it's only, it's only showing who invited, not uh, how many people they've invited. So, that's what we need to go ahead and do. So, under bot, I've just gone ahead and I've added a bot.invites, uh, a little DB collection. So you just want to add that in yours. We'll stop this for now. Go back under invites and now we're just going to be doing some work with the database because you need to persistently store it. So wait. Invites. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to try to find the inviter. And we've saved it by ID. That's how I'm going to save things. And then if data is none, we need to make the data into a dictionary where the ID is their ID, because that's what we've been searching by. And then we're going to have a count for how many people they've invited. And then we're also going to have a list. Have a list of who uh, they've invited. Cool, so that should be good to go now. And so we're just gonna go with data, count, plus equal one. Then we're gonna go data. Users invited, and we're just going to append to whoever they've invited. So, and we're going to just put their ID. And we will upset that into the database. Oop, so it should be good to go now. Though I do believe I'll have some data in the database from my testing, but that's all right. Uh, it just means there's a bit of a fault count at the moment. But that's alright because I can clear that if I want to, but we don't need to do that. So the reason we're just doing this is so if uh, this user has never uh, invited anyone before, if they've never invited anyone before, we need to make an entry. Otherwise we can assume they've already got a count, they've already got people they've invited. So that's all we need to do. And then we can go ahead and let's just make a... Let's make a log, let's go to channel, equals, this one, 
Got your utils. Got get. And then let's go. And I'm gonna use the recording channel for now. But you guys can use whatever channel you want. And then I'm just gonna make it a bit. Any anyway, Discord got in there. What are we gonna set top less? Welcome. And then we're gonna go member dot display underscore name. Double brackets. Wow. That's posh. I'm just gonna separate this out to make it look a little bit nicer. Description is also going to be an invited parts, invited by. And then we're just going to have the inviter dot mention. You know what? Let's change this to mention as well. Just you know while we're at it. Make it look really nice. And we're gonna go invites. We're just gonna put the count of the invites. Pretty simple stuff though. And let's set timestamp while we're at it. Not next on the member dot join underscore at Make it a bit nicer, let's put a thumbnail in there. Let's put a thumbnail, and that thumbnail is going to be the member of avatar underscore URL. And then we're going to set the footer as well, just to make it look even better. And so we're going to set the text to the member dot guild. And then we're going to set the icon URL to the guild's icon. And then we just want to send that to the channel. Channel.send bid equals bad. So wait, that should literally be the entire code for our bot. So let's jump back in here. And I'll have to get this guy to leave the Discord really quick. So let me just do that. Bum, 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 bum. So you can see that he's left. And now if I flick him another invite. Invites five. So during my testing, I've had it uh, four times. As you can see, the mention's not quite working. So let's just fix that. And so that'll be our uh, lay underscore name is what we're actually wanting here. Let's just rerun that bot. Jump back in here. And hopefully we should be good to go. Ah, uh, we hadn't quite logged in yet. So I'm just going to get him to leave the guild and we shall try again. Nice. So you see that that count's gone up. If you guys wanted to make this a bit better, you should probably check if this user has been invited before. So you'll have to change the MongoDB interaction uh, class so that you can find by field. Otherwise, uh, that's pretty much it. I would also recommend if you wanted to make this into a better bot, um, you should be checking the invites so when someone leaves, it checks who uh, invited them and then it minuses one. Uh, yeah. I might include that uh, actually in the GitHub release of the code if someone reminds me. And then that's just a little Easter egg for those of you that like going through there. But otherwise, that's all for the episode. Uh, that's that's me showing you guys how to, you know, how to update things. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy uh, making your own uh, invite managers. And uh, until next time, see you around.